Do you think the draw was a fair outcome? Uh, I thought the first 10, 15 minutes, I think we should be further ahead than what we are, obviously, missing a penalty. Um, I think Ibs maybe should have had a hat trick inside the first 15 minutes. We got into some good areas of the pitch. Um, so, yeah, I think we should have maybe been a bit more ahead. And then late on in the half, it was like nothing very easy for them to score. Um, I think, you know, a young group and we've got to learn um, to come in when we're dominating, you know, large parts of the game. Um, to come in at 1-0, I think, would have been fair. I don't think, you know, one all was particularly fair. And then second half was quite even. Um, sort of half chances here and there. And their keeper made a, a great save um, from Mo's shot. Um, but yeah, it probably didn't work him enough uh, throughout the game. So, yeah, I think disappointing probably They'll be happier, I think, um, coming away with a point from here. And um, yeah, it's probably the third game now where I feel we've, we've dropped two points and today will be another one. And it's the fourth game in a row, and uh, fourth game running as well, where we've scored the first goal but failed to win. So is that becoming a bit of a frustration? Um, yeah, there's obviously lots of good stuff there. Um, we're playing in a tough league. Um, you know, it's good, good sides that we're coming up against. So. Um, you know, there's no written uh, thing that we're going to go and, and, and win games. Um, like I say, when, when we're a young team, we sometimes, um, you know, have shown that at times. And all we can ask is that we learn and improve. And there was signs today that little things were getting better, and that's all we can do. A lot of enforced changes today as well. Uh, Luca came in for his first for the first time this season. How do you think he did? Yeah, he did okay. Did okay. What you expect from Luca? You know he's good enough to, to play at this level. Um, his first outing for us uh, at this level, alongside Dan Bowery. Um, obviously, you miss Aaron for three games. Um, Dan Barker's picked up an injury. Lewis White's got injured and done his hamstring on training. So, yeah, we're forced into these changes, and um, it's it's a tough, grueling league that we're asked to, you know, really put our bodies on the line for large parts of it. Um, so yeah, the whole squad is going to be needed. How important do you think it was as well for Ibi to get his first goal today, especially after missing the penalty early on? No, yeah, I think um, you want that for many uh, new strikers coming to the club. They want to get a goal and get off the mark and get their season running for us. Um, so hopefully he can do that. Uh, I thought him and Jared for like first 25 minutes were you know, a real sort of handful to play. But you know, we've got to look at that. Like, you know, why is it only 25 minutes that they're doing it for? Um, you've got to be more of a threat for longer periods of the game, and you know that would be disappointed. We sort of flagged a little bit, and you know we, we can't afford to do that. We're mid October now. We should have players that are more robust the last 90 minutes. Uh, well, the subs that came on, Callum Keeley and Reese Meekham, seem to liven us up a bit. How do you think they? Were you pleased with their impact? Yeah, I thought I thought Miki done well. Cal got in some good areas and offered us a different threat. Um, so yeah, that's what, exactly what you want from, from your subs um, um, and know that we've got a, a squad capable to do that. But um, no, yeah, it just didn't quite fall for either of them, um, but they they done exactly what you wanted, a little new injection of, of, of life and enthusiasm to the game and I thought they'd done that well. And then finally, just uh, move, looking ahead to Tuesday uh, with the squad impacted by injuries already, are you confident of going to Dulwich and getting a result? Um, yeah. Good. Cheers.